The best way to understand the food of Turkey is to visit the source, the ancient spice market here in Istanbul. Plunging into the market is an assault on the senses. It smells the same here as it must have in 1597, when the Silk Road from Asia brought precious spices through Istanbul to Europe's door. Here I meet food columnist Aylin Anetan, an expert on Turkish food going back to the Ottomans. Our first stop, the spice shop, Ucuz Jular. So what have we got okay. here? Well, you have to taste this. It has a very uh, sour taste, a mm -hmm. sumac. Mm -hmm. The sumac you have in the U.S. Well, is poisonous. Right. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> no, you no. just made me eat this. <laughs> no, no. It's and lemony. It's, yeah, exactly. You, when the Woo. lemons were scarce or exotic and non-existent at all, they were very expensive, people used sumac instead of lemons. And one spice that you cannot avoid in Turkey is nigella seeds. And this is on our bread always. Mm. So it has its place Very in different. the Quran, and then they say in the Quran that the only cure that Nigella sees cannot cure is death. Oh. It's Just good can't. for weight loss. Because that's good for weight loss. I should just eat the whole thing. This is saffron. Whoa. The, f the aroma coming off of that. Yes. Wonderful. This is the real saffron. It was a great spice in the Ottoman cooking. Mm -hmm. So you can make a tea out of it. Is that what this is? Yes, it's a very strong antidepressant. Saffron is the stigmas the of stigma. the crocus. And that's why it's so expensive, it's hand harvested. Yes, hand harvested. And you can get only one stigma from very one nice. flower. So you need thousands and thousands and millions and zillions of flowers. Yes, yes. Oh, this is so, I already feel better. Antidepressant. Yeah. Well, Who knew? I, 